to think Carr will be looking to do, because he's just sitting on a stay there. Right? A good strategy for Carr as I try to get into the front triangle is I have my triangle trap, I'm starting to get angled, Carr gets to his feet. Once he's there, he's going to use his hand to peel open my knee just to come So now he's posture, he's going to get his hand into the crook of my knee. There. Trap his elbow to his body and start to turn the corner to smash out of my knee. That's another common thing that can happen from inside the triangle. Let's look at that again. So as I get into the triangle trap, I'm, I'm about to try and get angled. Car sits up. From there he peels that and then he turns his head and smears that. So we want to be thinking about switching from upper body submissions to lower body submissions. We covered this briefly, if you're here for Oliver Taz's leg lock game, we did it a few years ago. Um, the triangle is a great upper body submission, but if you feel you're losing the position, you don't want to just lose the position and get, turn it back into the scramble. So, from the triangle trap, okay. second card, let me, I've got hard for Char to stand up without controlling his head. He maybe peels oh. them off his hand and immediately jumps up. From there, the first thing I need is angle. My right hand comes around the back of his knee, most of the way I'm looking into his left ear. So back a step. What I don't want to do is go ankle deep. There's a time for going ankle deep, but if I went ankle, he can just step out of it. If I go at the back of the knee, step out of it, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Now from there, if, I, if he starts to peel that off, the worst thing I can do is, as he peels it off, is to try to get my first right hook in. He's just going to bump his hips forward, and now my left leg. Once I get the angle, okay, and he starts to smear that off, the leg that's over the head is not the one that comes in first. Okay. I need to make a safety leg with the outside leg. So, stands up, right hand gets angled, that's the first thing. The outside leg, the one that's um, over, the, not on the inside here, but on the same side as his arm, comes over, that hook in. That's the first hook in. So now, even if Carr throws that leg off, I'm in the X guard. Anyone that's not familiar with X guard is, it's a great guard for pushing, it sucks for pulling. But to get into the leg lock game, I need to pull. So, first thing is, I want to make Carr's legs light. So I stay in X guard, and I just put his hands on the mouth, on the mat, extending my X. Okay. Now we switch to reverse X. So from that position, my right foot slides down and my left foot comes up. Okay. From there, because Charles' weight is on his hands, it's easy for me to pull my knees towards my chest, find the leg, and then I just extend my legs and put Carl down into the saddle, honey hole, 411, whatever you want to call it. So when you're playing the game, it was all about controlling the inside leg, bringing this one across. Had our Texas Club relief, which obviously is IBTJF illegal from here. Just if you're not used to this position, just get used to controlling someone from there. Where I go foot to foot, knee to knee, and clamp. Car tries to move from there, it's difficult. But one submission I like from here is cross ashy. So I'll just be pushing that leg across, getting the crook of my right arm underneath Char's heel, and then I switch my legs. Okay. The reason I like this one is if I was just going for a straight um, leg lock and back step shot, from there, Char puts the boot on and then steps over my leg. It's one of his defenses. Out and out. Whereas, over my leg now. Okay. So, let's take a look at that again. From there. So this skill of switching from upper body to lower body, you need this in your game and back and forth. So from our position, you're in the triangle trap. Before I get launching my attack, Charles stands up. It's about to pull the leg off his head, so I underhook at the knee. And now, from there, before it may even leg is off, I'm bringing my leg down and making the move. From there, I just switch into X guard. It's quite easy, an easy transition. Once I'm here, I just extend the X, 
you'll never get reverse sex unless you get his hands on the man. So if you're struggling today with it, it's probably because you haven't put his hands on the man. So we just extend to get his legs on the man. Okay? Slide the foot to set the hip down, and then I replace it with the other foot. So you just change your, your leg configuration. Now I just bring my knee to the chest. Once I'm there, I find that leg that's between my legs. I pull it between my legs and I just drop them straight down. Yeah, if you're not familiar with the position, let's play a little bit of control from there. If we're looking for cross ashy, control the leg. Take out my left and replace it with my right. My left comes in, so I have a 90 degree bend at his hip a 90 degree bend at his heel and I like to go bicep deep here okay and now from that position I'm just leaning back so from the triangle trap position charge the sides to the posture my baby wasn't controlling the set first thing is right hand under hooks left comes off and I find out that if I look in there, So again, just extend the X and then switch your hooks. Okay. Bring your knees towards your chest, find that leg, extend your legs and put them down straight into our saddle. So again, if we're not familiar with the position, come forward leg over the top of the almost between your legs. Yeah. 